Hello, uh, in this tutorial, I'm about to speak uh, the one of the important function in Excel that is called the count if function. The count if function is the conditional statement that counts the number of cells that meets a single criteria. You're talking about the criteria, I mean it meets a certain condition. Example here from the list, we have the name of the student, we have their gender, we have their score, we have their grade. How if I just wanna count the number of male? How if I just wanna know the number of female? The number of students who scored above 50, the number of students who scored 50 and above, the number of students who scores 40 and below. So starting from 40, 39 and the other scores. Here, number one, for the number of male, we start with the equal sign and then the count if. So what am I counting? I'm counting for the number of male. What will be the range? Remember, the male and female are found in the column known as gender. So I'll be taking from uh, the cell B2, then I'll be going throughout B10. And then I'll just add the comma there. The next one is the criteria. Now the criteria, I want a male. So I just say they're male. Close the double quotation, close the bracket, and then press on enter key. So you will find the answer that we only have five males from the list. And that is true, of course, you can just count them manually. The next one, I'm looking for the number of male or female. So I just do the same. I go with the count if function. Uh, and then after that, I'm looking for the range. The range is one from B2 up to B10. And then, uh, sorry for this one, I think it's better if I use the capital Bs. Okay. So it's B2 to B10 and then comma here, I'm looking for female. So female and then close the double quotation, close the open the bracket, then press on enter key, you find four. The next one I'm looking for where the scores are greater than 50. So I'm going to write the count if function and then the range which comes from the scores is from uh, cell C2 to cell C10. So I'm going to say C2 up to C10 and then comma, I'm looking for the scores that are greater than 50. So close the double quotation, close the bracket, press on enter key. So five students have a score that is more than 50. But the next case is somehow different because we are finding where the scores are greater or equal to 50. That means 50 is included. So it will be uh, the count if function. And then after that, the range for the scores is formed from uh, uh, C2 up to C10 and then comma. Remember there, I'm looking for the scores that are greater or equal to 50. And then close the double quotation, close the bracket, press on enter key, you will find your score. So six, I think is because of this 50, which was in the margins. The last one is the scores that are less or equal to 40. So I start with the count if function, and then the range there is the same, same from C2, up to C10 and then comma, I'm looking for the scores that are less or equal to 40. Then close the double quotation, close the bracket, press on enter key. So we don't have any score that is less or equal to 40. How if I just wanna know the number of those who have a uh, grade B, what do I do? I just wanna see the number of students with grade B. Start with the equal sign and then the count if uh, counts and then if and then the range the grade is formed from D2 up to D10 and then comma what is the criteria remember there I'm looking for B and close your bracket press on enter key so we only have two B's you can also do for A and others. Thank you so much. So this is how we do use uh, the conditional statement uh, account if to count the number of cells that meets a given criteria. Thank you so much for your time. Goodbye.